We are at Altitude 360 and we're kicking off the first of five days of events in Innovent Finance Week as part of London Technology Week and it's about cybercrime. Well, and I think, you know, there's, at the moment it's education. So a lot of organisations don't necessarily realise there's even a problem. So a lot of the time we spend kind of explaining what the problem is. And then it's really kind of basic hygiene issues. So like Cyber Essentials is a very good model here. So making sure people are changing passwords, they're not sharing user accounts, they are deploying patches, they are doing backups. And really those really basic things at the moment is, is where we're having to concentrate effort in that part of the market. Uh, otherwise, you know, it becomes a, it, it, it's a massive, massive problem which no one would ever take on. Well, I think you won't ever be able to create a mark, uh, an environment where there are no attacks. The reality is, is that the data has such an intrinsic value now, means that someone will always want to go after it. I think the challenge that we face here is that anything that the government does essentially creates a, an unlevel playing field in terms of kind of competing on the international market. So the government at a kind of a regulatory level or a kind of a national level has to be very careful. I think what it will be driven by more so as I mentioned on the panel really, is the barrier to trade. So where certain industries are demanding from their supply chain that certain levels of attainment or skill be hit and, and demonstration of that. And only through that can we kind of influence positive and demonstrable improvement. Yeah, well, I, th I think one of the interesting points that was made today, which is it's not just a technology problem, and the kind of the behavioural and the kind of the psychologist and, and sociologist elements and the demands for those people in the cyber security field are ever present and will only grow because we are dealing with a complex blended problem. And I think, you know, what will be next is the product or the technology that can harness not only kind of the technical threat and countermeasure, but then also kind of Dave, who's got a hangover on a Friday, who clicks on the ring, wrong link as well. So attribution down to a kind of an individual level is, is typically quite difficult. What we are seeing though is a, is a blended mixture of capability and that ranges from nation state through to organised crime now. I would say from a technical capability is not that distinct from nation state through to the opportunist. Uh, whether or not that is your kind of stereotypical teenager in their bedroom on the opportunist side, no one will ever be able to kind of tell you categorically. But we are seeing is, you know, it is ever growing the problem uh, and the motives are all the same, which is they want access to the data. It goes like this, I mean, there is no patch for ignorance. Welcome, Luke. Welcome, Luke. How many of you had heard that before? It is an equality problem. And protest, and legitimate protest. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, wait to, way to school me. I just showed you how to increase font size, so don't forget the, uh, don't forget the old school hacker here. Viva Innotech, folks. Have a, and, and forward with your forward with all your deliberations. Will that do, Jennifer? Can I go now? Thank you very much.